Hello my dear students. Diploma CET, the questions will be asked in a three different section. One is mathematics, the another one is applied science and the third one is a, the mainstream that is the questions will be asked with respect to your particular branch. The mathematics section and applied science section is common to all the branch students and the same questions will be asked for all the students in this section. So, so the first question in applied science section is the value of 20 petahertz is the right answer is option 3 that is 20 into 10 raised to 15 hertz. So peta is a decimal unit prefix in the metric system denoting multiple of or multiplication of 10 raised to 15. So 20 peta means 20 into 10 raised to 15 hertz. The next question is the total reading for a screw gauge is found by the right answer is option 2 that is total reading will be equals to pitch scale reading plus head scale reading into least count and its error plus or minus error. So what is this screw gauge? Screw gauge is a calibrated measuring device used to measure the components or any substances and it gives a more accurate readings compared to other measuring devices. The next question is the least count of an a slide caliper is 0.01 centimeter. In the setting the zero, the vernier scale lies between 3.2 centimeter and 3.3 centimeter, and the fifth division of an a vernier coincides with the main scale division. Then the total reading is the right answer is option three, that is 3.25 centimeter. Now the total reading can be identified by using main scale reading plus number of coinciding division into the least count. So the main scale reading will take 3.2 plus fifth division into least count. So if you add those things, so you will get a 3.25 centimeter. The next question is the rectangular component of a vector RR. The right answer is option 1 that is Rx will be that is the rectangular component in x direction will be r cos theta and in y direction that is r y will be equals to r sin theta. So what is this rectangular component? If the components of a given vector are perpendicular to each other then such a components are called rectangular components. The next question is a body of weight 5 kg is suspended by means of a light string. It is pulled horizontally until the string makes an angle 30 degree with the vertical. Then the horizontal force applied is the right answer is option 4 that is 5 by root 3 kg weight. The next question is what among these which is the vector quantity? The right answer is option 3 that is surface tension. So what is this surface tension? Surface tension is a ability of a material to shrink into a area. So this surface tension is having is considered as both vector quantity as well as scalar quantity. But in practical cases, the surface tension is considered as a vector quantity. The next question is the resultant of two like parallel forces P and Q acting at a point is the right answer is option four. That is the resultant force will be P plus Q and it is lying between P and Q. So that is a resultant force. The next question is the shock observers in automobile is an example for the right answer is option two that is compressive stress. The shock observers are the mechanical components or hydraulic components which absorbs the shocks or damps produced while the vehicles are moving. And during this movement, these shock observers compresses into the tubes, the tubes, whatever the long tubes will be there, that compresses into the tubes. So at that condition, the compressive stresses are developed. So the shock observers are the best example for compressive stresses. The next question is the elasticity of a steel compared to rubber is the right answer is more. So what is this elasticity? It is the ability of a material to resume its normal shape after being stretched or compressed. So 
for a steel the elasticity will be much higher than the rubber the next question is the stress strain graph for an elastic body within the elastic limit is the right answer is option 1 that is linear so that is at this point stress will be directly proportional to strain that is within a elastic limit so the graph will vary in a linearly and the next question is the maximum stress of a steel wire is 500 newton per mm square if the area of cross section of a wire is 0.5 meter square then the force is so in this question stress and the cross sectional area is given and the relation between stress a and force and area is we know that stress is given by force by area so stress is given by force by area so therefore the force will be equal to stress into area if you multiply this 0 0.05 meter square into 500 so then you will get a 25 mega newton so that is option 3 the next question in case of a concave meniscus the angle of contact is the right answer is option 1 that is acute angle so concave meniscus is what we normally see and it occurs when the molecules of the liquids are attracted to those of the container so this occurs with the water and the glass tube so the the angle of contact in concave meniscus is acute angle the next question is the surface tension of a liquid varies as the right answer is option 4 that is the surface tension of a liquid varies inversely with the temperature and directly with the density so what is this surface tension so surface tension is a tendency of a liquid surface to shrink into minimum surface area so that is a surface tension so the surface tension of a liquid varies inversely with the temperature and it varies directly with the density the next question is the thrust on the bottom of a container having a base area 0.5 meter square filled with a water to a height of 6 centimeter is the right answer is option 2 that is 294 newton so we know that the pressure can be identified by using a formula rho g h where rho is a density of a fluid h is a height of a fluid g is a gravitational constant and h is already given and the density of water is 1000 and G is a 9.81. So if you multiply all these things, you will get a pressure that is 588.6 Pascal. So trust can be identified by using the formula pressure into cross sectional area of a base. So if you multiply this pressure that is 588.6 Pascal into the area given that is 0.5 meter square, then you will get a trust as 294.3. So your right answer will be 294.0. Newton. The next question is the fastest mode of heat transfer is the right answer is option 3 that is radiation. So radiation is a mode of heat transfer in which so there is no require of any medium to transfer heat from one system to another system as in case of conduction and convection. So in radiation heat transfer the heat transfer takes place much faster compared to the conduction and convection. The next question is the pressure is directly proportional to absolute temperature at constant volume is a statement of the right answer is option 3 that is Gay-Lussac law. So what is this Gay-Lussac law? It states that the pressure of a given mass of a gas varies directly with the absolute temperature of a gas when volume is kept constant so that is a Gay-Lussac law the next question the Boyle's law is applicable for the right answer is option 1 that is isothermal process so Boyle's law states that the pressure of a given mass of an ideal gas is inversely proportional to its volume at constant temperature as the, the statement itself says that the constant temperature means isothermal process so Boyle's law is applicable for isothermal process the next question is at absolute zero temperature the pressure and volume of a given mass of a gas is the right answer is option 4 that is zero 
so the pressure and volume of a given mass of a gas will be zero at absolute zero temperature at absolute zero temperature the gas behaves as an ideal gas so the pressure and volume will be zero the next question is in a cold countries the windows are provided with a double door because of the right answer is option 1 that is the air between two windows behaves as an perfect insulator so that resist the coldness or cold air entering into the houses or entering into the system so that acts as an perfect insulator so the double door windows are used in a cold countries the next question is the sound wave and the light waves can be differentiated by the right answer is option 4 that is polarization so what is this polarization so polarization is a property applying to transfer waves that specify that specifies the geometrical orientation of the oscillation so these sound waves and light waves are differentiated with the help of polarization